numerical methods. So you're not supposed to use algebra and simplify for this particular problem. We're supposed to use numerical methods. So we want to find the limit as x goes towards 9 of rad x minus 3 over x minus 9. So numerical method simply means to find a number that's really, really, really close to 9, like 8.999, and plug that into this rule to see what we get really, really close to. So I have a calculator handy, and what I'm calculating right now is the square root of 8.999 minus 3 divided by 8.999 minus 9. And if you're following along and you tried this on your own, hopefully what you got from that value was 0 0.1667. To four decimal places. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so it looks like it's 0 0.1667 to four decimal places. Okay, what do we end up getting if I try the other side? Now that's only 8.9999, which is close to 9, but on the left. So what if we tried something a little bit above it, like 9.001? Okay, so again, I'm grabbing my calculator and I'm just going to stick in 9.001 in place of x. 9.001. And on that side, it looks like we're getting 0 0.1667 rounded to four decimal places, actually. One of them slightly ab above. This one is a little bit above, and this one is a little bit below. So what this is indicating to us is that the limit of the function, although you cannot literally stick in 9, it looks like we're getting pretty darn close to, I only did four decimal places here, but it's, it's probably getting close to this, right? 0 0.1666666, which means that the limit here must be 1 sixth, or it seems to be getting close to 1 sixth. Okay, why don't you pause the video and try something similar on your own here. Try this problem. x squared minus 4 over x plus 2. Negative 2 is the limiting value, so you can't stick in negative 2, but you're supposed to stick in something close to negative 2. So assuming you paused and tried it out, and now do it together with us. Let's go negative 2.001 as a number that's just slightly to the left of negative 2. And I'm going to stick that into this rule to see what I end up getting. So let's see, negative 2.001 squared minus 4 over negative 2.001 minus, sorry, plus 2, and that seems to be giving me a value of negative 4.001. Okay, what's well, a number just a little bit to the right of negative 2? That might be negative 1.999. So what do I get when I stick that in? So negative 1.999, negative 1.999, negative 1.999, and on that end, it looks like I'm getting negative 3.999. Ah, that's convenient. So what number do we know and love that's just between negative 4.001 and negative 3.999? Well, that would be the number negative 4. So that seems to be indicating that this limit here must be the value of negative 4.